Snodgrass, retired from the United States Navy in 1999 as the high time pilot in the F-14 Tomcat with nearly 5,000 hours of great time. He's also made over 1,200 carrier and arrested landings. And although his Navy career is over, his love for flying continues. As he does a loop with a roll on top, He's flying a variety of vintage warbirds, among them being the P-51 Mustang, the Corsair, and also this F-86 Sabre jet. Chris Lee, I think you have an emergency announcement. Please take it away. Yes, sir. I have it. Dylan Munson, Dylan Munson, and Jason Wright. If you can hear my voice, find a police officer, find somebody in a military uniform, or go to Hangar 2, the Lost Child Center. And folks, military folks, Dylan's wearing a soccer uniform. He needs medication, so if you find him, please bring him to the Lost Child Center at Hangar 2. That's Dylan Munson and Jason Wright. They're both wearing soccer uniforms. They need to go to the Lost Child Center. So Dylan, find a policeman, uh, security folks, and military personnel. Please look out for Dylan and help him get his medicine at Hangar 2. Thank you. Thank you, Rob. All right, Chris, now over the top, doing a one-half Cuban 8 maneuver. Pulling some serious Gs. I know you've heard that term today, and maybe you understand it, and maybe you don't. But Dale Stockgrass is going to pull some Gs right now as he sharply backs to the right, being shoved into his seat at some four times the pull of gravity. Really pushed down into his seat there as he does a 180-degree turn. The beautiful shape of that swept wing F-86 Sabre jet doing a flat eight. Coming up over the crowd, watch him as he pulls up. Dale Snodgrass is the son of a test pilot. He was raised on eastern Long Island. He graduated from the University of Minnesota with a Naval Reserve Officers Training Corps scholarship. Had a Bachelor of Science in Biology and earned All-American status on the University of Minnesota swim team. He set new standards as an aviator. The first flight graduate we saw in the Ram 14 Tom had training. And the first non-fleet experienced pilot to carry or qualify for both night and day. In 1985, the United States Navy selected Snodgrass as Fighter Pilot of the Year and as the best F-14 pilot in 1986 from an aerospace named Snodgrass the Tomcat of the Year. The F-14 Tomcat is an aircraft that comes from Grumman Aircraft Corporation, one of the long line of Tomcat airplanes starting from the F-4 F-12, the F-6 F-12, the F-7F Tiger Cat and the F-8F Bearcat, all World War II and Korean era aircraft. And then came the F-14 Tomcat, owned by the Navy for 30 years and is just about to be retired. This is the man who ran all of them for a time while he was in the Navy, Dale Snodgrass, now flying the F-86 Sabre Jet, powered by a J-47 jet engine. Each with, with that engine generating almost six thousand pounds of thrust. Fully loaded, the aircraft weighed about 10,000 pounds, so it had a one to three thrust to weight ratio. It could not climb going straight up. These days, it's possible to have jet engines on an airplane like the F-16 Fighting Falcon built by Lockheed.
Air Force had an aircraft that could fly supersonic in global flight, and that is in fact one of these supersonic with the speed of sound in level flight. Yanking and banking, there's about a 7G pull there as Dale Snodgrass accelerates to max speed. The F-86 Sabre jet had a typical max speed at high altitude of about 687 miles per hour. Doing a four-point roll across the show line in this beautiful F-86 Sabre jet painted up like the sky. Run by the Air Force in Europe. A very famous female aviator by the name of Jacqueline Cochran became the fastest woman alive back in 1953 when she reached 650 miles per hour in a Sabre jet. More than 9,000 of these airplanes were built by a number of manufacturers in a number of variants. <laughs> there was another the F-86 that had a radar right in the nose that uh, was truly different looking, but all of them, that same swept wing, and later versions even had a more powerful General Electric J-73 jet engine in it. I believe that's the same type of engine that was first outfitted in the, the Boeing B-52 Super Fortress 8 engine, TJ Bomber. The Navy also flew versions of the Sabre, which actually predated the F-86. They called them the Fury. They had the FJ-1, 2, 3, and 4. None of them was used for any great length of time by the Navy. But the Air Force, on the, on the other hand, used this airplane big time with a photo pass, keeping that wing right on the deck. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Put your hands together for Dale Stewart. such as the YF-93 Interceptor and the F-100 Super Sabre, an aircraft flown by the United States Air Force Thunderbirds for many, many years. We have a beautiful day for an air show.